Progress on the Gordon Drive Viaduct project is continuing to move forward slowly, but construction is still far off tonight. However, some Siouxland businesses say they're already making some business decisions based on it. KCAU 9 reporter Nick Wilson talks to one of those businesses that's moving. That's the top story tonight at 10. Thanks, Tim and Sophie. As work on the Gordon Drive Viaduct project continues, a local business is changing location to avoid being affected by the project. Lechner Lumber is located near the Gordon Drive Viaduct, but not for much longer. The general manager tells me the business will soon move to a new location, and the viaduct project was one of the reasons. They put a median in the middle there that doesn't allow northbound traffic to go north on Court Street, so you either got to go over the viaduct or make a U-turn. So we got about 50 people making U-turns a day there with the truck activity and stuff. So this location is going to provide a lot better access for sure. Dakin Schultz is the District 3 transportation planner for the Iowa DOT. In 2021, the DOT enacted a corridor preservation zone on properties near the Gordon Drive Viaduct, including Lechner Lumber. This allows the DOT to have a say in property sales in a defined area. In this case, the city of Sioux City, let's say, received a request for rezoning or they had a... Uh, request for a building permit that exceeded $25,000, we would be offered the opportunity to um, address those requests and take action on the property. Schultz says the DOT is looking at replacing the viaduct as well as the Bacon Creek conduit. He says feedback from Siouxlanders is critical to the project. We continue to get uh, comments and questions from uh, residents as well as some of the local property owners in the area about where we're at. So um, we continue to work on the development of the project, um, looking at how we can incorporate some of the comments we heard from the meeting. The DOT is working with a consultant to get the next phase of the project under contract and hoping to get more work done on the development this spring. Nick Wilson, KCAU 9 News.